Okay, so hi everyone. In this particular video, malaman yung mga sis kung you you will be guided on the right dosage or the right amount of testosterone blocker and estrogen that you need to take if you're someone who is transitioning at the same time who is self-medicating so i think this video is indeed very beneficial for you so i want you guys to watch until the very end of this particular video Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for today's episode of our video, mga sis. <laughs> Sorry. In this particular video, mga sis, is I will be sharing to my transgender viewers kung ano yung guide or this video, magsisilbi siyang guide for those transgenders who are self-medicating on the right amount of dose, right amount or dosage of estrogen or testosterone blocker that they should take while undergoing in hormone replacement therapy now very important disclaimer i am not a doctor i am not an endocrinologist and an, i'm not an endocrinologist i'm not a psychologist and a, a person working in the field of medicine at itong idea na ibabahagi ko sa inyo guys is nakuha ko siya sa facebook page specifically transgender health ph and one thing I can assure you guys is legit yung nagpost ng particular picture na ito or in other words reliable yung nagpost ng particular picture na ito since meron siyang background knowledge or I must say na nurse siya at itong picture na nakuha niya is based to ito sa kanya based to ito sa endocrinologist na kanyang tinanong so she's also self-medicating pero ang maganda sa kanya is nagtatanong siya since meron siyang kakilalang doktor specifically and endocrinologist so yun nga this particular video it's about guide kung ilang amount or dosage ng estrogen at anti-androgen na dapat i-take ng mga transgenders or dapat Yes, tapat inumin ng mga transgenders every day. So yun nga, I'm not promoting self-medication. So in hormone replacement therapy, itong estrogen at testosterone blocker talaga, they played a very important role. Palagi ko naman niyang sinasabi sa aking mga vlogs at videos na they, these medicines or these chemicals, napaka-importante talaga sila or napaka-importante talaga nila sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. So, Hindi, hindi, you cannot just say na, you cannot just say na, mas malag, it is okay to take only estrogen. Yes, it is okay to take only estrogen if nakadaan ka na sa proseso ng orchiectomy. And most importantly, hindi rin sapat na mag-take ka lang ng testosterone blocker or anti-androgen since meron talaga siyang adverse effect or meron siyang epekto sa yung bone density and bone development. So, for the, those person na meron pang testicles or balls or hindi pa nagpakapon or orchiectomy they need to take this two medicines testosterone blocker and estrogen and for those transgenders na dumaan na sa SRS at nagpakapon na so they need to maintain HRT by taking estrogen and ito mga hormonal products na ito they played a very important role so estrogen nakatulong siya further for further feminization and yung anti-androgen or testosterone blocker from the name itself binablock niya yung production ng testosterone that way hindi nahihirapan yung estrogen sa pag-perform ng kanyang responsibility or role which is yung further feminization and that is the ultimate purpose of hormone replacement therapy naman for us transgenders to minimize this thing called gender dysphoria that we experience and we can only do this by Undergoing HRT and taking estrogen, taking estrogen therapy, or testosterone blocker. So, yun nga, without further ado, let's get started sa pinaka main content talaga ng. Pinaka main content talaga ng vlog na ito. So, first, magsisimula tayo sa anti androgen or sa testosterone blocker. So, first, we have here yung mga testosterone blocker na pwede yung gamitin. So, first, we have here cyproterone acetate, acetate or famously known as the androcure. Now, 
minimum dose niya guys is one quart tablet to one half tab tab daily. So maximum dose is one tab daily. So I'm referring sa I'm referring sa 100 mg na tablet. So ang minimum dose is for 100 mg, ang minimum dose niya is one fourth tablet that is equivalent to to 25 mg and for one half tablet one one fourth to one half tab siya. So one fourth is yung 25 mg and one half is 50 mg. At ang pinaka maximum dose naman is one tab daily so equivalent to 100 100 mg. So yun yung mga talagang medyo late na nakapag-start sa hormone replacement therapy, medyo maedad na at hindi pa natatanggal na kanilang balls. So dapat medyo higher dose talaga ng testosterone blocker ang dapat i-take niyo. Take niyo that way mas napapadali ang demasculinization at mas napapabilis or mas napapabagal ang masculinization at napapabilis ang further feminization. Now, second product, we have spironolactone. It could be aldactone or hyals. So, minimum dose niya, guys, is so yung hyals naman, meron naman siyang 25 mg lang at meron din naman siyang 100 mg. So, you have the option, you have the freedom depending on the advices given by your endocrinologist. So, if you're self-medicating and I think this video is right for you. So, minimum dose is 25 to 50 mg. Oh my God! Twice a day pala siya. So, noon ang ginagawa ko, naka-experience or this is the first time or noong nag-transition ako, yung unang ginamit ko talaga as a testosterone blocker is yung Hiles. At ang ginagawa ko lang is once lang ako nag-take ng 50 mg, which is wrong mga sis, dapat is 25 to 50 mg twice a day. A day. Twice a day. Yun yung minimum dose. For the maximum dosage, we have 200 mg twice a day. O ba medyo ang layo, ang layo nung, ang layo na ginawa ko sa required talaga na dosage. Pero again, sinasabi dito is maximum dosage. So yung minimum talaga is 25 to 50 mg twice twice a day mo siyang dapat inumin. So, we're done with the anti-androgen. So, so far, yun lang ang nalista. We have androcure and hyals or aldactone. Now, moving forward sa next chemical na needed sa hormone replacement therapy, we have we have their estrogen. Estrogen, ang ginagawa niya is for us transgenders to experience further or for us transgenders makaranas ng Ma feminization, which is the main essence, which is the ultimate purpose of hormone replacement therapy. So first, we have estradiol pill. You don't sa mga orals. First, we have estrofem, or it could be progenova, estradiol valerate to be specific. So minimum dose, two tablets daily siya mga sis. And maximum dosage is four tabs daily. Oh my gosh, that is too much. Depende pa rin yan sa age factor. Or age factor... It is also one of the things to be considered. So, yung pinaka minimum talaga is two tablets and maximum dosage is four tablets. Now, let's proceed doon sa mga injectable estrogen hormones. So, yung mga, yung estrofem at progynova, it is, it, it, it's only orals or pill. Now, let's proceed sa mga injectable estrogen. So, you have here different brands or options, Progynon Japan, Pelanin Depot, Jenna Farm. Nice ko ding idagdag estradiol benzoate or yes, yung mga progynon depot. Stuffs like that. So, minimum dosage niya is 1 ampule every 2 weeks. Ah, okay. Now I know. At yung pinaka maximum dose naman niya sis is 1 ampule per week. Again, yung minimum dosage is mga injectable hormones. Estradiol valerate injection. So, hindi pala estradiol valerate yung estradiol benzoate. Yung yellow 2 siya, kaya hindi siya part. So, 1 ampule every 2 weeks. And for the maximum dosage is 1 ampule per week. Now, nakalista dito kung ilang amount ng estradiol benzoate ang dapat mong gamitin every week. So, we have here estradiol benzoate injection. So, with the yellow 2 siya, yung mga brands or generic name on March. Minimum dosage is 1 ampule every 5 days. 
and maximum dosage is one ampule every three days so so far yun lang guys ang guide for you to figure out kung ilang dosage ng testosterone blocker at estrogen ang dapat mong gamitin for your hormone replacement therapy if you're someone na self medicate or if you're someone who is self medicating again very important disclaimer i am not a doctor i'm not an endocrinologist itong this particular picture or this particular information i gained nakuha ko siya sa transgender health ph and i feel like reliable naman siya and legit source naman yung pinagkukuhaan ko ng particular information na ito so i think it is just rightful for me to share this particular knowledge most especially those transgenders who are self-medicating at walang ide walang kaide idea na on what are the things that they do you need to do since my mga transgenders na talagang napaka impatient talaga nila at gusto nilang madaliin ang ganitong process so at, ang nangyayari is they're taking too much estrogen and it's really not good because the, the risk of overdosage is there at we don't want overdosage and we don't want complications of hormone replacement therapy so i think that would be all guys i really hope that you learned something out of this video thank you so much for watching god bless us all and see you on my next upload if you like this video if you find if you find this video informative so please do not forget to click the like button and also to click the subscribe button as your way of showing your support to my channel once again thank you so much for watching god bless us all See you in my next video.